and this take a turn for the worst. In the beginning of the act, Balthazar, Romeo's messenger, goes to Mantua where Romeo was hiding out and told him that Juliet was still alive. Romeo then begs a poor man a name, named Apothecary to sell him a powerful potion that will kill him almost instantly. Apothecary is hesitant to sell him the potion because he says, Such mortal drugs I have, but Mantua's law is death to any that utters them. And what Apothecary is saying that if he sells Romeo the potion and he gets caught, the penalty is death. After all, Apothecary ends up selling Romeo the deadly potion. After this, Friar John meets with Friar Lawrence to explain that he couldn't send Friar Lawrence's message about the plans to Romeo. The Count Paris goes to the grave where Juliet lies to spread flowers. Romeo shows up a little later than Paris so he can say some last words to Juliet before he kills himself. Romeo gets mad at Paris, threatens him, and gives him a chance to leave. He says, I do defy thy combination and apprehend thee for a felon here. Paris is saying that he refuses Romeo's request to leave the grave and he will arrest Romeo. Romeo then opens the tomb, relieving Juliet and releases a monologue as his last words to Juliet. Romeo drinks the potion and dies. Juliet wakes up to Friar Lawrence telling her to come, but she refuses and tells him to leave. Juliet sees Romeo on the ground next to her, and then she takes his dagger and stabs herself to death. As a result, the Montagues and Capulets agree to end their feud between each other and make statues of Romeo and Juliet. Retaliation could be a good or bad thing until someone gets hurt. When you retaliate, it can end up with a lot of precious lives gone and hearts broken. In Romeo and Juliet, the two families, the Montagues and the Capulets, end up stopping their feud, but it costed six precious lives. Was it for the good or for the bad? So, before you embark on revenge, dig two graves.